Big Red Fish Dad. Uh, it's October, so I'm going to make some Halloween uh, decorations. Uh, we're going to hang ours on the fence. Um, you could put a little stake on the back and just put them at the curb, um, hang them on the door, use them inside, uh, whatever you want to do. Um, right now I'm going to make a pumpkin first, and then I'll probably make candy corn out of the other half. Um, I just kind of eyeballed it here. I bought 10 pickets. Uh, these are cheap. They're a buck something each, so 10 bucks, and I'll be able to make probably four different uh, decorations out of it. And, uh, you know, I was looking for some pallets, and that's what I'd prefer, but I just haven't had time to go ahead and get any, so um, I'm going to use these. It's just easier just to run Home Depot and buy these for 10 bucks, and um, everything else will be free around the shop, but um, just need some paint, you know, orange or Candy corn. Uh, candy corn is the yellow and orange, and then pumpkins orange and green. So, um, and then a little bit of black for the jack o' lantern, right? So, uh, what I'm going to do is I kind of eyeballed it out and figured out. I think um, I'm going to do a set of three, so or six, I guess, across. So that'll be about 22 inches, and then I'm just going to come down two feet for the pumpkin. I'm going to make it where the stripes or the the seams are up and down because that's like a pumpkin. Um, the candy corn, I'm going to flip it and cut it where it's layers and we can just paint the layers the right color. You know, three in the middle orange and then a top layer yellow and the bottom layer white. And then it'll look like candy corn. So that's what I'm going to do on those. And then, um, you know, I'll just uh, show you as I go along. And then when I get done, I'll uh, show the final product. So as you can see, I cut them all at two, so two feet, these are six foot long, so I got all of these just out of three pickets. And what I'm going to do is you don't really care about this dog ear. Um, you're probably not going to trace that close to the edge. If you do, just try to plant it at the top and the bottom and maybe it'll be less likely to interfere with your drawing. So, um, so that way you can reuse the whole things. So right there, you know, this was only three of the ten pickets and I'll probably probably be able to get the pumpkin and maybe two of the candy corns out of that. So um, we'll see, see as it goes along. So now we just got to um, cut this extra piece here. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off so that it's just about halfway. I just eyeballed it, drew a line so that it's inset a little bit. Um, then I'm going to rip it on the table saw and that'll be the top and the bottom uh, brace to keep them all together. And then for the pumpkin, I just kind of hand drew here, I don't know if you can see it, but I just drew a little curve and went up to the sides. It'll be straight over here so I don't have to cut. And then I went over to this and then a little curve here. Um, once you paint it, it's going to look like a jack-o'-lantern. So if you're not a great artist, who cares? Um, and then I just left, I'm not going to cut this board. I'm just going to leave that for the stem and paint him green. Um, or brown, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, there you go. So now I'm going to attach these before I cut it. Um, that way I can kind of, I drew it first though so I could line it up just a little bit above the bottom and then I'll put the other one just a little bit above the top and that, that'll keep it together nice and neat. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, for the uh, candy corn, I think I'm going to just use these. Uh, these are the thick five and a half inch cedar pickets. Um, these were left over from the turtle uh, enclosure. Um, I'll get a video out there of the turtle thing, but because um, you could actually use it for rabbits, or I may even make one and put some quail in it, just make it one more higher so they have a little more room. Um, it'd be perfect for some quail because um, we've been thinking about raising some quail out here for some meat. Um, but anyway. I'm going to use these. These are left over. I have four of them, and I think I would like like that. Um, I'll put white or whatever, a yellow, two oranges, and a white on the bottom, and I'll make two candy corns out of this. I'm just going to cut it straight in half, and ever how big they can be, they'll be that big.
got them all done. Um, here's the jack o' lantern, and then uh, two candy corns. Like I said, um, I use the candy corn. I use the bigger boards because it's going to be um, what is it? A yellow, and then two oranges and a white. Uh, so I used the bigger pickets that I had left over, and I just made two. So I'm going to paint them up. Uh, I'm not going to paint the backs. Um, you could paint them before you put them together, and then they'd be more weather resistant. But this is cedar, and then these are treated pickets. So you know they'll last a few years. It's not like they're going to be out there uh, 24 hours for you know 365 days. It's just going to be you know a month in October, and then they'll probably go up in the rafters until next year. So um, I'm just going to mask this off, paint him orange paint this green and then um, I'll probably just cut some triangles and a little hat you know make it a jack-o-lantern type thing um, you know play around with it do whatever you want you can decorate it like you would a jack-o-lantern um, I had thought about cutting out the eyes and stuff and then putting like an LED light thing behind it but man, this is gonna hang on the fence <laughs> so um, you know but you could do stuff like that you know uh, put lights around it outline it put a candle in the eyeballs or something you know so do all kinds of things um, this is also something that um, would be real easy for the kids to cut out. Um, use the jigsaw, that was what I used for all of it. Um, the table saw to cut the back pieces here for these. Um, you can notice I just put one on this one uh, just because they're bigger boards and it goes right down the center so it works pretty well. And then um, I'll show you the rest of it here in a minute. or the wall or whatever you want to do um, you can use these kind this is the ones I got you don't want those picture hangers with the little jagged edges those won't work very well these are the ones that uh, this one has two little nails and then that little hook that you can put over a screw or a nail kind of like on the back of some of the clocks um, so these look pretty good I may just use these and put two uh, screws up in the, the fence um, for me the other option is I might just make a little um, you know, see up here, attach a board across here and over that, and then just hang them on the fence. Um, that might work pretty well. Uh, the other thing, um, I have one more idea for a skeleton, so I'll put that video up here next week. Um, hopefully I'll get it on Sunday and finish it up this weekend and get it out there for you. Also, uh, please like and subscribe and you'll get some um, more ideas as the holidays come around. We have some stuff for Thanksgiving. Um, my wife's always made those little crafts, you know. Our kids are older now, so we don't do the little things for the teachers and stuff, but um, we've got lots of ideas over the past, you know, 20 years of uh, things for that nature. So make sure your wife watches these or you go out to the shop and make them with your sons and they can get a cool little gift for your teacher. You know, in kindergarten through fifth grade, you pretty much give, a, give a, your teacher a gift at the end of the, the holiday season right before the break. So um, we'll have some of that stuff coming. I've got lots of ideas for that. Cool little crafts. So... Um, and easy. And the thing I like about these is they're they're simple for the kids to cut out. You know, uh, my boys are older now, so uh, Thomas he still likes to get out here sometimes and make these kind of things. But you know, Phillips into the cars and stuff now, so um, he doesn't want to come out here and cut these as much as he used to. But um, but yeah, these are simple things you can go out to the shop, uh, whip up. You know, all three of these I did yesterday, so um, they're all done. And then the skeleton will probably take I don't know. I, I kind of have it in my head, but I don't have it have it down yet. But I think it'll be pretty cool. So uh, it'll probably take about a day too. So it'll just be real easy and simple. So all right, well let me get these hung up. Okay, for me, I decided I'm not going to use these. Um, this would be good if you're going to hang it on the door or house or something like that. But since I'm going to do it on the fence, um, I just got me. I want, they're basically corral panels or the deck boards, so they're a little bit you know thicker. So I just put one here and then spaced it out. This should be just about perfect. Okay, so I want just a slight slant, so I'm just going to use this here. Um, I had to go get another spacer, so I'm just using the ones off of the cedar there. So I'm going to give him a little bit of a turn. I'll use the longer screws for this one.
All right, so there they are up on the fence. Nice, just about the right size. Um, I'm gonna make one more uh, jack-o'-lantern so I can put some on the other side of the gate there. Um, but like I said, you know, make sure you uh, subscribe and like, and um, now that's holidays, more of these little crafts will be coming for uh, you and the kids. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. And um, she'll be done in no time now. Paint. So, anyway, now we just got to figure out something for the stars. We were thinking about maybe getting some of those You've Been a Good Student stars and throwing those on there, um, or trying to find a stamp, and we'll just, you know, put it in the paint and just do a few stamps on there to get the stars on there. Not sure. We'll figure it out. Okay. So there's your quick 